got these um, spikes <coughs> from the old wooden sleepers on the railway line where we walk the bench dog because they're really, really rotten. Um, and these just pull out if you have a little, a little scratch around and, and find the really nasty ones. So I've managed to um, just literally pull them out of the rotten timber. The railway line was laid in, in about the 1920s, so they've been in the ground a fair few, um, few years. I cleaned them up, obviously. I've got this old scrap of, of oak, which came from a fireplace mantle, a rip cut off a six inch square oak beam and I planed it down, twisted in all directions. Well, I've cleaned, cleaned these up now. Um, there's still quite a bit of rust on it, but I don't want to take it all off to bare metal. And I actually used a combination of the wire brush and also a, an angle grinder in the end with, a, with an actual grinding disc on it. And that's really sucky. I thought it was recording, it wasn't. So basically all I've done is I've just trimmed off the, the edges to, to line up all the, the square bits. The joins are not too bad. They're certainly good enough for what I want. I'm happy with that. Basically I used my um, tapering jig as a jointing jig, jointed one face with the saw blade, moved the fence across, flipped it over, cut it, and then used cross cut sled, cut, cut. And now it's all flushed up on the edges. Yeah, what are you going to do? There, 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 there. It would have been easier to do all this before I put these in, but well, they ain't coming out of there again, so now they're in and set, I might as well leave them. Plus, if I'd have done all this and then put them in and split it, chicken and egg in that.
So drill five, five counter bores and then seven plugs. These can be taken out, glued in, just been installed. Let's not want that. So there she is. Uh, left it overnight for the jaw to basically dry. I'm, I'm really chuffed with how um, how it turned out. I quite like the wire brush finish on um, on the timber. I didn't um, I didn't really even give it a bit of sand. It just went straight on with the brush. It actually revealed a few really tiny pinprick wormholes as well, which is uh, which is quite nice. Um, and I'm glad I went for the, the direct fixing rather than trying to put a cleat or you know keyhole bits in there to hang it on. I think that's going to be a lot stronger because there's a fair weight to it, um, just in the in the spikes to be honest. So uh, yeah, not bad for a basically scrap and litter <laughs> effectively. So. Uh, yeah, leave a comment. Let us know what um, what you guys think. Hope it's been a little bit um, of inspiration in finding materials that we wouldn't necessarily uh, think about and use. And I'll uh, I'll make sure I leave a a list of all the other scrap bin challenge videos. I think there's 20, 23, 24, something like that. Um, down in the description, and obviously all the, the normal links. So. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, not just to me, but also the other people that have um, have gone in for this um, this collaboration as well. So uh, go and spend a bit of time on their channels. We'll see you next time.